Welcome to the second part of the course, Geodetic Reference Systems. In this lecture, I will discuss about geometry of ellipsoid. I know that biaxial ellipsoid is the best mathematical shape for the L. It is much simpler than triaxial ellipsoid. It is very important that we know the geometry of ellipsoid, this ellipsoid, because later we should define geometrical quantities uh, on the surface of this ellipsoid and work with them. We know that if we look at the ellipsoid, a biaxial ellipsoid from above, we will see a circle. And if we look at it from the side, it will be an ellipse. Therefore, it's easier to discuss about geometry of ellipse first, because geometry of circle is now to us. Ellipse is defined by two focal points. A circle has one center or one focal point, but ellipse has two. When this two focal points get closer to the center of the ellipse. This ellipse will be more closer to a circle. The distance from the center to the farthest point of the ellipse is called semi-major axis. And the shortest one, which is shown here by B, is called semi-minor. Three parameters also define for an ellipse. First, eccentricity, which is actually a ratio of the this difference between the squared value of the semi-major and semi-minor axis, or and the square of semi major axis. Similarly, we can define second eccentricity and flattening. So based on these parameters, an ellipse or an ellipsoid can be defined, biaxial ellipsoid can be defined. Linear eccentricity. Linear eccentricity is a measure showing how far or focal points from the center of an ellipse. I can show it here for you. Yeah, this distance is called linear eccentricity. But how can we determine it? We all know that a sphere is loca location of all points which has the constant distance from another point. An ellipse is defined similarly. It's a, it is locations of all points which has a constant distance from two points. For example, point P at the, at the ellipsoid, and we have focal po point F1 and focal point F2. The summation of this distance, F1 to P, and P to F1 is always constant. And it is equal to 2A, twice larger than the semi-major axis. So, consider that this P moves to the shortest distance to the center of ellipse. ellipse. In that case, we will have a triangle. And it is pretty clear that here PF1 and PF2 will be equal. And here we will have a right angle triangle. Therefore, based on Pythagoras, we can write that linear eccentricity is square root of 
difference of the square of semi major axis minus the square of semi major axis. In this table, you observe names of different uh, ellipsoids which has been defined for the Earth. You observe in the second column the semi major axis of the ellipsoid and the inverse flatten. The inverse flatten is always presented with this ratio 1 over f and the f value is here. So if, so if you have f, you can determine or can compute b or, or of first eccentricity simply by the formula that is given. 